Oh, there's just too much hurt in your heart or too much regret, too much pain. What are your biggest dreams and aspirations and how do you plan to achieve them? The more you love, the more the hurt can be. What's the most valuable lesson you've learned from a difficult relationship or friendship? People leave, people hurt people. Sometimes you're gonna be the one hurting people. You're gonna be the one making mistakes. You're gonna be the one doing wrong. Right? Man, thank you guys so much for tuning in to this Q&A. This one's a good one. Um, I asked y'all to ask me questions, just some life questions. Um, and some were pretty deep, so I think it's gonna be a good Q&A. This is our current sub count right here, so be sure to subscribe, let's raise it up, and be sure to also follow my snap, I'm gonna put it right here. This is where I post literally what goes on day to day, how I film videos, what goes on at school, in my life, in the business, so be sure to follow it, and let's dive into this video, man. So question number one, what's a life experience that has had a profound impact on your life? Definitely basketball. So I've been playing basketball now since I was in junior high. It's something I always loved doing. It's something I trained hard to do. And I really enjoyed, you know, the training, the teammates I made, the friendships, the connections. But one thing that, you know, in my life that has really, it's been a profound experience was not playing college basketball. See, playing basketball is something I trained my whole life for pretty much. Like it's something I spent hours doing. I really worked hard for one day to possibly play college basketball. And working for something for so long, and not achieving it, it really was just an eye opener. It, it, it really showed me that life doesn't always go as planned. Like you can, you can have all the plans that you want. You can plan it out perfectly, write down your goals, whatever it is you want. But at the end of the day, like it can really not happen. And for me, like it was just kind of this fairy tale dream. Like I'm gonna train hard for it, whatever. It's like, how could I possibly not make it? Like, like I promise you, I would train like. It was like a, it was a full-time job for me. Like I was, I was training to play college ball and then possibly pro one day. Like that was my dream. That was, I, that's what I worked for for so many years. You know what I'm saying? And then just to not make it and not play college basketball, like that just crushed me. But looking back on it now, I, I, I thank God for it because it was a profound experience that changed my outlook on how I see things. See, without that and seeing that it is possible to fail, it makes you try so much harder in the things that come after it. See, now whenever I have a goal, whenever I try to pursue something, I not only, of course, I put in the work for it and I, I see how I can possibly get to that goal, but now I'm okay with failure. See, before I wasn't okay with failure, like I, I needed to win. But looking back at it now, if I had never failed at doing that, then I wouldn't be in positions that I am today. So life doesn't always go as planned, you know, that that's what it taught me, like, and I was so young too, but it, it just showed me like, life doesn't always go as planned, but the plan is always perfect. You know what I mean? Like, I'm okay with failing now. Like that's that's the beautiful thing that came from it. So question number two, what's the most valuable lesson you've learned from a difficult relationship or friendship? So obviously, you know, I've, I have friendships, relationships, connections, and I've learned over the years, the more you love, the more you're into something with someone, whether it's like a relationship, friendship, whatever it is, the more the hurt can be. The more you open up about yourself, the more you give yourself to someone, the more the hurt can be. And I don't say that to scare y'all if you know, friendships or relationships or something new to y'all when you're entering into a new phase of life it's beautiful it's beautiful to be even to even be able to experience any of that but something i have learned from a difficult relationship or friendship is that you first need to be there for yourself and all of my life i've always been surrounded by great people great communities but i don't think i've ever really learned how to be okay with being there for myself picking myself up first instead of reaching out to someone to pick me up. Dealing with my problems first before reaching out to see how I can help other people. I need to be there and show up for myself first. So that's the first thing this taught me. Second is you need to take time to accept what your heart is feeling. Don't ever hide from your heart. For example, if you're going through a hard situation with someone and it makes you sad, mad, frustrated, take all those feelings in. Don't try to be in denial or you know be a cool guy. Yeah, you can do all that and that's fine for a minute. But don't hold on to that forever because later, if you do that, later 10, 5 years from now, months from now, it's going to come back up. Something's going to remind you of that situation. You're going to be like, dang, I never really healed from it because why am I feeling like this again? Instead of months from now, days, years from now, whatever it is, something that reminds you of the situation comes up, but you're like, oh, that's in the past. Like I learned how to deal with it because I didn't hide from my heart. You know what I'm saying? I let my heart breathe. I let my heart, I let, I let pain do its thing. I let time run its course. And the reality is, man, people leave, um, people get hurt, people hurt people, and that's okay, man. It's it's part of life. Like, if you haven't learned it, you're gonna learn it, you know? But that, that, that's going back to my first point. Like, you need to be there for yourself, bro, before anyone else. You need to learn to love yourself, be okay with yourself, love your joy, love your heart, love your mind, love your soul, love your energy, bro. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, love who you are as a person. Be able to look in the mirror and say, man, I love this dude. I love this girl. You know what I'm saying? Before you go and give your heart to someone else. Before you go and give your relationship, friendships to someone else. You have to be okay with yourself. Because at the end of the day, you got yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you might have a boyfriend, girlfriend one day, wife, husband. But at the end of the day, like, you got yourself. Does that make sense? Like, no one got you the way you got you. You have to be there for yourself because then how can you expect others to be there for you? Does that make sense? Because because the reality is, yeah, other people can pick you up. Other people have picked me up. But they're not always going to be there. People will not always be there. But guess who's always going to be there? Your mind, your heart, your soul, your energy, your spirit. All those factors are always going to be a part of you because it's who you are. So if you don't love to love that, if you don't learn to accept that, if you don't learn, 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 learn how to work with that in this work with that in this life, man, it's going to be a lot harder. You need to learn to love your presence. And from this, I've also learned that sometimes you're going to be the one hurting people. Like you're going to know you're going to be the one making mistakes. You're going to be the one doing wrong, right? You need to learn to forgive yourself, man. Like you need to learn to first ask God for forgiveness. And then you need to learn how to love yourself again. If you lost that love or if, you know, there's just too much hurt in your heart or too much regret, too much pain. You need to learn to, to let it all go, bro. Like you need to learn to just let it all go. You need to learn how, 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 to, how to release that from who you are. To leave it in the past, leave it buried, but don't compartmentalize it. Don't compartmentalize it. Like don't hide from it. Let it run its course. It's gonna hurt. I'm, it's gonna suck. I know, I know, bro. Trust me, I know. It's gonna hurt, but you have to let it run its course. No matter how long it takes, don't hide from it. Don't be in denial of it. If you did wrong, you did wrong. If you hurt someone, you hurt someone. That's okay, man. People hurt people. Learn from it. Make sure it never happens again. And if you feel regret, if, if, if you feel just sorry for what you did, man, let people know. Let whoever you know hurt. Uh, let God know first that you're sorry, man. And then let yourself know that you're sorry for what you did. So question number three, what are your biggest dreams and aspirations and how do you plan to achieve them? My first inspiration has to do with uh, uh, what I live by, which is to inspire others to live faithfully, fearlessly, and joyfully. And ultimately what this means is I want others to watch videos like this, watch any other video that I do or anytime I speak and anything I say, any, any way I present myself to inspire them to live faithful lives, man, full of joy, full of just being risk takers, full of people who love to explore, full of people who love to love themselves, man, and love on others. I, I really just want people to fall in love with themselves and the gifts and abilities God has given them. Like this has nothing to do with me. This camera in front of me has nothing to do with me, it has to do all about you, right? Bettering yourself, seeing what you can take from this, applying it to yourself, maybe inspiring you to do something similar, maybe inspiring you to just to just, to, to just make a change in this world, man. Like that's that's my goal, that's my, my biggest, dream like none of it's for me it's not for views it's not for likes it's not for sub counts like forget all that man like i'm, I'm here for y'all like I, I i want to inspire right i want to educate i want to love on others bro i want other people to love on other people i want the world to be a better place like that's my ultimate dream and aspiration with with any of this that's that's my purpose in life question number four how do you handle failures and setbacks and what advice would you give to others facing similar situations here's the thing man uh, failures and setbacks they're inevitable 15 year old me would have not listened to this because i would have said man failure isn't an option for me in this whole basketball thing and then boom i turned 17 i don't end up going to play college basketball so i kind of failed in that aspect right it, it turns out it was an option for me and I don't, I don't care how much money you have i don't care how much success you have I don't care how much, how many followers you have. Failure and setbacks are inevitable. They're bound to happen to you. So the question is when you fail or you set back, what are you gonna do then? Failure is never an option. Does that make sense? So, so when I say failure is an option, I mean it in two ways. Failure literally isn't an option, like you're gonna fail. But then staying in that failure mindset or staying in that failure uh, essence isn't an option either. You have to pick yourself back up. You cannot stay down where you were. You cannot stay sad where you were. You cannot stay scared where you were. You cannot stay hurt where you were, right? Failure is never an option in those two aspects. See, the reality is you may never achieve what you want to achieve, but if you keep trying, you keep trying, you keep trying, and you don't achieve it, that's okay. At least you know you never quit because failure wasn't an option. Does that make sense? So whenever you fail, whenever you have a setback, I want you to do these three things. I want you to first learn from the situation. I want you to analyze what you did, what went wrong, why it didn't work. I want you to talk to people, man. I want you to, to, to talk to others maybe that are chasing similar goals or have failed in the same way you have. And talk about it, man. Talk to other people and seeing what they know and their knowledge, their experiences are so valuable, man. And then number three, I want you to plan out what you're gonna do differently. See, the, 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 the thing isn't to just throw away whatever it is you were chasing, no. You're gonna bring it back up. You're gonna try it again and again and again, 
each time trying something different, each time talking to new people, each time analyzing what went wrong. Because failure, quitting is never an option, man. Never, ever, ever. So our last question for today, man. So how do you define success and how has your definition of success changed over time? So I'm gonna be honest, in the beginning for me, and pretty much all my life, success was money, cars, jewelry, right? It, it was really the materialistic things. It was just like, how much can I really have? But over time, and it's, it's come to my realization that, man, money is of this world cars jewelry fame it's of this world right like there's not enough of it that can ever make us feel satisfied so now for me success is being on my deathbed and realizing and knowing that i served others i loved on others and that i was joyful with where i was in life at all at all stages of my life and with what i had so if i lose it all tomorrow i'm joyful man i'm still loving on others i'm still serving others if i hit the jackpot i become a quadzillionaire I'm still joyful. I'm still loving on others. I'm still serving others. That is success to me. It's being content with what it's being content no matter where you are, who you are, what you find yourself in, with what God has blessed you with, which is this life, which is the ability to love others, which is the ability to serve others wholeheartedly, man. I'm not here for myself. I'm not here to serve myself. I'm not here for the money. I'm not here for any of that, bro. All of that is temporary. And if I chase that, I'll never have enough of it, bro. I'll always want more. I'll always want more till I die and then. And then what? Turns out I don't even take any of it with me. You need to find gratitude and peace with what you have and joy in the midst of suffering, man. Joy in the midst of whatever it is you're going through, bro. Whether you're rock bottom, whether you're at your prime, whatever it is, man, you need to find joy. You need to look into your heart and, and just be okay with where you're at. Be at peace with where you're at because it's where God wants you to be at. And a question that I want to leave with this last question is you need to ask yourself, like take a second, Pause this video when you're done and ask yourself, ask yourself if the things of this world didn't matter, would you be happy? Man, thank you guys so much for tuning in. This video was a bit different. I really love the questions y'all asked me, man. I hope you guys were able to take something. Um, I love just being open with y'all and being able to talk with y'all, man. Um, thank y'all for showing love. Again, this is our current sub count. So be sure to subscribe if you like this video and took something from it, man. And, and again, be sure to follow the Snapchat, posting daily content there. Really cool and funny stuff, man. Love y'all. We'll catch y'all next week.